my name's Paul Wilkinson, along with Sarah Plater, I'm the co-author of Mastering Portrait Photography. And in the next minute or so, I'm going to talk to you about this shot we took of Kyra looking out of our studio window. First thing to bear in mind with this shot is I didn't think we'd be able to get it. It's already four o'clock in the evening on a November day. It's dark and grey outside, and the little bit of light you see is the little bit of light we have. There wasn't a lot of it. So I'm using a single lens on my, uh, on my SLR. It's an F2105, all right? Not everybody has these. I understand that, but usually you'd have a lot more daylight, so bear with me. I'm also shooting at a quite high ISO. Um, I knew from working with uh, Kara earlier that she was fascinated by all sorts of things. She's a small girl, so she would be, and so most of this was about getting her to look out the window. If you look at the box I placed at the bottom of the shot, it's at the far side of the window relative to me, so if her face turns towards the camera, she's pretty well lit. If her face turns out the window, she's pretty well lit. Um, I've pushed my camera right up against the wall because I want to run along it. I do not want to see the window necessarily. It's not a particularly interesting window. The light from it, though, is. So what we did was I found a position. I've got my exposure right. I've got um, Kyra next to the window, and we took a whole sequence of shots, some with her sitting on the box, some with her, frankly, eating my lunch. If you see an apple in this shot, it's because she grabbed it, stole it, ate it. Um, we're talking to about looking out for the lion, looking out for the tiger, you name it, whatever it took for Kyra to both look out and then look back at the camera, look out and then look back at the camera. And which means I get versatility in the shots. And we've got a whole range of shots. I've shot them wide and I've shot them tall, but I'm shooting on a fixed lens, so I can't zoom in and zoom out. I can shuffle along and shuffle back, and that's about all I can do. Um, but it shows just how easy it is to get a really effective, really, more importantly, really beautifully lit image out of actually very ropey light. And as Sarah Plater said, I'd get the shot. I doubted I could. She has more faith in such things than I do. Turns out it's eminently possible, uh, but right on the edges of what I could do. Get a nice summer's day on a north-facing wall and you have got no problem at all. A very simple, very easy way of getting a beautiful image.